Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's me Nate. Today we're going to be looking at how to employ bombs on the Mirage. Unlike most modern jets we have in DCS at the moment, the pilot does not set the bombing mode. In the Mirage, the bombs have set modes on how they are deployed. These are either in the CC IP mode or the CC RP mode. For CC IP, we have the BLG 66 Beluga. And we have the Mark 82 Snake Eye High Drag Bomb. For CCRP, we have the Mark 82 Low Drag Bomb, distinguishable by its smaller fins. So, here are our weapons range. We have our target set ahead of us on the airfield. I've brought the aircraft to a suitable point, and I've put on the active pause so we can look at the setup before the attack. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the CCIP mode. CCIP stands for Continuously Calculated Impact Point. It is a mode where the computer calculates constantly the point of impact for the bombs, as you nose down towards the target in a diving attack. It does exactly what it says in the tin. Um, so let's have a quick look at setting the aircraft up for the bombing run. Now I've got Mark 82 selected, uh, Snake Eyes, as indicated here with BF1, you can see in the external model, we have Snake Eyes selected, noted by their longer and more complex tail fin. This method works exactly the same for the BLG66 Beluga cluster munitions, so this exact method will work, will work exactly the same as the other, so I'll only demonstrate this once. First thing we do, Master Arm on, select the bomb as you require, BF1 here for B Mark 82 Snake Eyes, and it's BF6 if it's the Beluga Cluster Munitions. Make sure TS is on with a little S underneath it. TS stands for Telemetry Air uh, Sol, which is the Air Ground Radar Ranging. RS for Radalt Ranging. And obviously, if you have radar ranging, then your radar needs to be turned on. If you don't have your radar on, you'll get a big flashing red radar on your HUD, which means your radar is off. A red radar is French for radar stopped. You need your radar turned on here on the bottom of the HUD slip panel to M for Marche, for, which is French for on. And you have your height from ZB to H, which will give you radar display on the HUD on the top right there. Moving over across to the right hand panel, we have the weapons uh, control panel here. Let me just turn off my tracker for just a second while we have a closer look. On the far left, you will see inst, ret, and inert. Uh, this stands for the bomb fuse type, so instantaneous, retarded, and inert. Inert is safe, that means the bombs will not explode. Instantaneous means the bomb will explode the immediate impact and retarded for a delay fuse. So let's have it to instantaneous. And B, number of bombs. You can select it in even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Uh, so we will drop all four at once. We have four Mark 82 Snake Eyes, so I've selected four. And distance times 10. So this is the distance between the bombs times 10 meters. Um, so if you have it on 1, the bombs will be 10 meters apart, 2 for 20, and 3 for 30, and so on and so forth. I like to have my munitions around 50 meters apart, because I think that's a reasonable distance to be apart there. Once you've got all that set up, the one thing you may want to consider changing, which you may have already set up, is your uh, chaff flare programs here. Now I have it on 1, which will give you, if you look at your kneeboard, using Shift K, 1 gives you chaff, no flares, and I guess one cycle. If you're running in on radar missiles, uh, SAMs, then maybe you want that. But if you're running in on, say, infrared missiles, then you probably want way more flares and not so many chaff. So change this program as required. Now, as, as it stands, we are running in on um, APCs with only machine guns. So it doesn't really matter which program we have. But just as you run in, bear that in mind. So let's take off the active pause. Now, you will note that we haven't yet got the Pipper, and I've saved that for last. Now, this is a change from the older Mirage to the newer Mirage as updated by Razbam. Uh, what you need to do now is push Weapons Command System forward, and now you'll get the full line. Some notes here. The bombs will not drop if you're doing anything less than uh, 0.4G, so always check the G meter as you pull the bomb. Uh, pull the pickle on the switch that you are doing positive G, so the bomb will release. And let's make ourselves, give ourselves a good 45 degrees angle between us and the target. Now, I'm not really going to comment on bombing techniques. I'm uh, not an expert myself, but then there are definitely people better qualified to me to, to explain to you on that. But basically, you want to be coming in an angle, coming in a diving attack about 20-ish degrees, 25 degrees, and giving yourself a good space so you don't get shot by missiles or SAMs. So always get a little bit of altitude. Let's zoom in and verify the targets. There we are. We have our targets there. 
Right, let's double check our settings are correct. We have master arm, bomb selected, both radars selected. We have our bomb mode set instance, our fusing is correct, our programs as required, we have the bomb fall line. So, let's roll in and do our run. You want to keep your speed above 400 in the dive. That will give you good optimal trajectory for your bombs. Use your speed brakes as required. You'll get the X for a no bomb release. So that's, that's roughly lined up. We're doing 400. Using a bit of speed brake to keep it around the 400 mark in the descent. Lowering the nose to about 25 degrees. We should expect the Pipper to come up any moment. Here we are, Pipper. Pickle, pickle, bombs are away. Pull away, chaff flare program as required. Eh, some impacts. I think there was one that got quite close. And eh, burning away. As your bombs are away, let's clean up the aircraft. You'll get a warning light on here. Bring your aircraft into AA mode on the bottom left here because it should be on non-AA mode and your light will go away. Good. Well, that's the CCIP. I don't think I've forgotten anything. If I have, I will amend it in the comment section. Let's have a look at CCRP. So here we are back again at the starting point of our attack run. Uh, we're going to be looking at CCRP this time around. CCRP stands for Continuously Calculated Release Point. It allows you to fly level and drop bombs using uh, the computer to calculate the release point of the target. Uh, the advantage of this, of course, it allows you to fly over the target at a reasonably high altitude and, and reduce your risk of in, in a return fire, surface air missiles, uh, AA fire, and uh, you know, so forth. The downside of this, of course, is that this is, especially in the Mirage, it is notoriously inaccurate. Um, so, not much success to be gained from this method, in my opinion, but it's good to know anyways, in case you really, really want to drop bombs or something, and uh, there's a lot of air defenses around it. So, uh, without further ado, let's look at the setup. Let me turn on the lights here so you can see, better see what I'm doing. There we go. So, uh, majority of this setup is similar to the CCIP method, as before. Master arm on. BL1 for the Mark 82 low drag bombs. Make sure TS and RS are both on. Radar, rad, your radar is on. Your radalt is on. And your display on your HUD is set to hide above AGL. Back to bomb selector switch. I'm going to set mine to instantaneous. I'm going to drop all four bombs at once. And because of the bombs sort of inaccuracy, I'm going to set the spacing between the bombs to zero to uh, try and maximize my chance of a bombs hitting if they do impact near the target. And obviously, as before, chaff flare program as required. And if you need your jammers, try to jammer on. Right, so I'm going to bring the aircraft into an active state and unpause. Last stage, as same, uh, same as CCIP, is to push your weapons command system forward. That brings you a little diamond on your HUD. Let me just zoom in on the diamond there. That is a diamond that you need to lay, uh, lay over the target. So let's lay it over the center of the airfield there. Just pick a, just pick one of the dots. Print diamond down to the target and push AG target designate button. So that diamond now has little lines left to the right of it. This is your command queue to what to fly. So if the the wings start to roll to the right, you roll to the right. If it starts to roll to the left, you roll to the left. Pretty straightforward. Uh, while it's doing that, you can actually hold down the bomb release. I'm holding it down now, I've pushed the pickle in. And just keep flying this, and the computer will automatically release when it thinks it's going to hit the target. So there's the bomb queue coming up, there's the bombs are away. Let's clean up the aircraft back to AA mode. Put it into autopilot and let's have a look at the bombs. As you can see, they are going in the rough direction, but they've overshot. Now, my target originally was the one bottom there, and they've overshot a fair distance. So, let's turn off the autopilot. So, as you can see, not really the best method. I mean, I'm sure if I practice enough, I'm sure I would find. I'll fine-tune the delivery, but really it's it doesn't get too much better than that, unfortunately. So your best bet is to still use CCIP. Um, 
And that's it, really. It's actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple, and I actually quite enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, just put it down in my comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. But uh, until next time, have a good day.